Now then, taking a look here at the quest for episode 2 of the British season in Astral 9 Legends on Nintendo Switch. And yeah, there's a few fairly strange ones with this. So I said I'll just give a rundown through the quest and then tear into them and yeah, knock these ones out as fast as possible and point out places where it's good to grind out things or well, yeah, some of these which can't currently be done in game. Uh, but start at the start, finish first in time attacks, quantum jumps in New York. That is a very particular track and event. So yeah, I'll like I said, leave timestamps down below on uh, where each one of these can be done. Yeah, perform four seconds of airtime in a single race on Train Spotter. Hey, uh, yeah, as far as I can remember, that is a pretty short track, but four seconds of airtime. I'll point out a fairly good place to get that as well. Now, perform jumps in Shocktober slash Halloween events. And if you've seen this earlier, it actually said back to school events. So that one has been updated. But of course, the Shocktober slash Halloween events hasn't appeared yet. I'll go into this in a sec. Uh, perform power rolls in multiplayer 50. It's just perform power rolls in multiplayer. But the only problem with that is the frame rate is still yet to be fixed. There's been an update on the Discord server that the patch for that will hopefully come next week. But it's not 100% on that, which means unfortunately the entire weekend and most of that LEGO Grand Prix is going to be in Stuttersville. Star up any car. It's easy as it sounds you just have to be upgrading a car and yeah like it is one that you can have the car waiting in the garage to do that too but like any car will count to that so if you're working through the legend pass and you see that right now just don't forget the fact that you will get the bentley c red car as long as you complete all the quests you'll get that at least two stars so if you're going to be doing all these quests and you'll at least start up that car get a reputation for your club 1000 you can do that in a handful of races. <laughs> Play the game. Finish races in daily events, 35. Yeah, it, it's a weird grind, but at least it's like, it's not any one particular course. So every single thing that you do in a daily event is gonna count towards that. A really cool change to the grinds with these um, quests so far. Five perfect nitros in a single race. Just have the car two stars and perfect nitros just knocking it into that blue state. Stunts in Osaka or the Caribbean of 15. Again, a really nice, easy quest. 25 seconds of nitro time in a single race in a class D car. Yeah, quite a lot of these are going to be things that you can just like combine together, I would think. <laughs> no airtime in a single race, US Midwest. So just making sure to pick a US Midwest quest and not go like over jumps in that or hit ramps. But yeah, again, it's just a case of like a strange challenge, but not a long one. And perform a traffic knockdown in a single race. Traffic knockdown is just crash into a car that's parked on the side of a stage. Now, so I'll get into some of these and probably the first one here that's simple for me to do, but it might be difficult for some others to do, star up any car. And yeah, that's that exclamation mark that I've had sat on my uh, garage for quite a while which was the uh, Genty right here at the end. Yeah, I've just been leaving this because I had no use for it um, all the time. There was no events that uh, required a car, so I just left it in that star-up state just for a mission like that. But mm, nice, five-star Genty in the garage. And yeah, boop, first mission is complete. And Oh, I only see now the fact that, yeah, that thing is like two thirds of the way to the next star up as well, because I've just left it there for ages and just been buying up the blueprints whenever they appear in the Legend Store still for credits, obviously, with that one. This one here, perform jumps in Shocktober Halloween events. Okay, so that's coming up soon soon so it'll probably be here over the weekend where you start to see stuff like that but because this legend pass started so much later than it should have done like in terms of where these quests came out yeah keep in mind that there's nine days left in october and halloween is you know not too far away but this legend pass extends on to 50 the next 54 days which means this legend pass will run until the 14th of december and you're going to have a quest on episode 2 which requires you to do something in a Shocktober event or a Halloween event. So is this going to change throughout the event to be like whatever the current event is? It's very, very strange because I can't imagine doing a 
Shocktober event in the middle of December. Unless, yeah, it's going to be changed to Shocksember and Shockvember. <laughs> it's just, why? But yeah, like, it is just kind of puts a spotlight again on the fact of the Switch is trying to stay in line with a year ago events from the global version of the game. But obviously it's fallen out of sync by a year and a bit now. And yeah, this is weird. We're going to be doing Halloween events in the middle of December. No, so as always, I'm going to gather together a bunch of these and see if I can knock out all the kind of basic ones in the same race. So perform five perfect nitros in a single race. Fine. Um, perform 25 seconds of nitro time in a single race. Class D two star car. Mm, should be fine enough. Perform no air in a single race on US mid rest. Yeah, that should be combinable with the others. And then perform one traffic knockdown in a single race. So I think you should be able to couple all of these together relatively easy yeah, in a single race. Now to try and take off all those together, I'm gonna need a fairly long-ish course. So in Stars and Stripes here in the career, uh, yeah, race number 10, Navajo Nation. And there is one D-class car available. So, but yeah, it should be possible just yeah, need a traffic knock now. I'm pretty sure there is some cars parked on this one. Don't need to win the race, but yeah, I just need nitro time, 25 seconds, perfect nitros, and yeah, not to ever leave the ground. Now, there is a chance that I will hit off of a parked car or so on this track and just get knocked into the air. So, like, I'm going to be trying to obviously avoid that and have to avoid parts of the track where there is uh yeah guaranteed airtime so on certain jumps and such like that yeah i see parked car there already waiting underneath the bridge and all it takes to achieve this one is just to yeah run into one of those now like i said i am not aiming to win this race all i'm doing is just trying to fill out exactly the goals required but really there we go traffic down sorted and i do not want to get knocked into the air just knock out the perfect um nitros ai here quite a lot of it but yeah it is just a case of trying to um navigate the stuff without like i said just do not want to get knocked into the air at all if possible now obviously if i do that's fair enough but yeah i'm just gonna see if i can navigate it fretting so i have my perfect um nitros clocked up i have my trough uh traffic knocked down the main thing now is just to uh yeah nitro a bit more get towards the finish line and avoid getting knocked in the air at any point here by <laughs> the ai around me who are kind of swarming but should be okay just very lightly slide back down the wall no thank you ai Ooh, there's a ramp here let's see there we go <laughs> i'm just trying to think of where like there is absolutely any chance of airtime at the butt of the car shunted into the air there but I really <laughs> just being incredibly careful. I definitely like kind of gave myself a bit of a challenge in the fact that why did I pick such a long track for this? And wow, that AI is just waiting up for me to try to, uh, yeah, obviously like thump into the side of the car. I'm just gonna um, go on the bottom route here. <laughs> Tip, by the way, do not go for the no air time on a two minute long track with 8 AI. Ah! <laughs> it's definitely ah, making this a challenge. But at the same time, now I'll have this done and I don't need to worry about it anymore. I, like I said, definitely not going to be winning this race, but that wasn't a requirement. And wow, at the speed that the AI just slams on the brakes to try to go into me. And this one's definitely plenty of um, a nitro time opportunities. <laughs> uh, I hope that was enough perfect nitro to that one. That'd be the only thing that where I might have messed up on. Uh, let's see. Quests complete. Yay. Five perfect nitros. Yeah, that should have been the only one. 25 seconds of nitro time. <laughs> 
Let's see, so that's tier 23 unlocked. No air in a single race. That's pretty cool. Ah, cool, some more Bentley things. And yeah, the traffic knocked on is just going into that um, parked car. So, whew, <laughs> four down. <laughs> Now, right inside here is what well. you've got the actual uh, train spotter is available on US Midwest. And this is the one just to get to four seconds of airtime. So I'll take my Pimpy uh, ZL1 out. And yeah, this is really short track, but just four seconds of airtime required. So uh, yeah, it's not going to be too bad as long as you have access to it. But, but yeah, pretty much anywhere you can find the US Midwest train spotter should be fine for it like yeah there's quite a few ramps on this guy i'm just gonna ignore the uh, first left here i'm gonna on this back pad because that's where you've got like really high barrel roll opportunities and yeah you're wanting to hit those just poorly again this doesn't need you to win the race so just make sure you get your four seconds by going like high above the lights we'll send the car into a really really floaty barrel roll and again then there's another one right here on the left hand side so just send that thing soaring and yeah that's over six seconds already all it needed was four job done get to the finish line press complete uh, wee. <laughs> i do love how pimpy that car looks it is just like also i'm looking i wish there was more uses for it because yeah i like a muscly looking car it looks like it belongs straight out of fast and the furious but there's that quest complete nice and easy yeah 181 legend points with that no real challenge other than just to see where's that race <laughs> now this quest then for finish first in time attack on new york quantum jumps so for that one they've added it here into the british season and uh yeah race number three is time attacks quantum jumps and all it takes is just to come in here and finish first. It's a race with ridiculously low requirements. So I break out my McLaren here and I'm just gonna put this, I can even just do that in touch drive realistically. But yeah, all it takes is one run of this and win that race. So yeah, I will edit this one through to the finish line because uh, yeah, this is a pretty long race and I'm definitely gonna win this one. So see you at the finish line. No, and there you go with that. Yeah, like I said, that's yeah, an absolute easy race considering it's 4,000 rated car, but it is just a case of that's where you find it inside the, yeah, career there and in that um, new season for the British things. Just race number three and yeah, definitely play through these because it's quite a few cool rewards and a fair amount of credits and stuff to be had with that. So the rest of these then are just some grinding outfits. 35 um, events to do in the daily events. So anything there's weekly competitions, elite competitions, car hunts and such for that is all gonna count. Obviously that's gonna get you a thousand reputation as well as you do them. 15 stunts in an Osaka race, any Osaka race, you could just do it a single time. Now, and I'm gonna go into multiplayer as well and knock out those bar rolls. So the rest of this is just gonna be grinds and there's no in particular places you can do these. It is just a case of playing the game, do some multiplayer, your daily races, and yeah, just when you're in Osaka, knock out some stunts. Now, I'm recording the start of this, obviously, on the Thursday. If that Shocktober slash Halloween events thing becomes available on a Friday morning, I will also add in my uh, 30 jumps in that. If it does not, yeah, like, all we can do is just wait for that event to appear and then complete it. So this one may be a case of all of the events complete and if not i will go through all the rewards that i unlocked anyway uh yeah after i finish off these grinds otherwise like i said i'll finish off the grinds and also edit in a clip of yeah some shocktober events and how to nail 30 jumps in those really fast and there we go that's that grind complete oh uh, camaro <laughs> blueprint but yeah tier 26 unlocked by uh finishing those 35 uh daily events then now so i'm just taking a look here then now i've got that one mission left to complete and it's for 181 legend pass points which would give me the next level but yeah that's like 200,000 uh, credits and 200 tokens which aren't exactly anything super i'm not going to be able to get as far as the actual next set of uh, bentley blueprints and the one extra from the mission this is going to make too much of a difference to me honestly so what i'm getting here is yeah the emoji with the warp down the front of it uh some credits 
five blueprints for that Bentley, all right, a 25% reputation increase. And yeah, I'm just gonna claim these now because while I do have that one mission left to farm, that's just gonna be the Shocktober slash Halloween event. Hopefully that'll become available, possibly even by the time this video launches. And it's gonna be a case of yeah, doing some races for a regular kind of thing, maybe a free trial of a maxed out Lycan as normal. But yeah, I'm not gonna hang about for that. Like I said, the, the uh, results, the thing that I get from it is gonna be that Bentley one blueprint for it. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough for the car to be unlocked for me. So I'm gonna call that as all quests, <laughs> maybe with an asterisk, but there's that derpy emoji, some P1 blueprints that get trashed. Yeah, Bentley blueprints, which are not gonna be enough to bring that car up to unlocking. Unfortunately, these class B and stuff um, packs, they haven't been adjusted yet to include things like the DBS Super Legera, as far as I know, and the A-class ones don't have the Vanda Electric in there either. 25% rep boost increase, a discount on the next Legend Pass bundle. Ooh, this game's quality needs to really improve if they're gonna get any use out of that. And yeah, the rest of those are just all import pieces. But yeah, that's as always, like it's a percentage bonus off of the cost of the bundle pass. So it's not like making the next Legend Pass cheaper just if you buy that bundle pass thing. 25% extra rep on all races is cool except for the fact that like tgt is well finished with the uh yeah all the rewards from it and yeah i think the only thing i've really used is the five blueprints for the bentley which is a really cool looking c-class car and yeah just some credits realistically from this it, like when that uh shocktober event comes into play uh, i'll obviously get these which is 200 um tokens then looking forward a small bit here and yeah like even the next week's quest probably still aren't going to be enough to get that bentley because you get one extra from the max quests unlocked five from there and i don't think it's going to push forward far enough to like reach number 33 it may do i'd have to see but uh, if it comes close to striking distance on that i might spend an extra token or two just to see I will get this next tier, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six kind of tiers needed next week. It, it might be possible to get as far as the actual blueprints to unlock that. Possibly, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, like I said, the only other thing that I haven't gotten this week is those tokens, and I'll get those as soon as that a Shocktober event comes into play. And yeah, like that will obviously give one extra blueprint for the uh, Bentley as well here, but that's again, not gonna be enough to get this car unlocked for me. So yeah, I'm gonna call this on episode two stuff of, there we go. Hopefully, as I said again, guys, if this has gone live by the time this video goes live and that jumps thing is in the game, yeah, that's obviously just gonna be a case of find somewhere that you can grind those out in and yeah, jump it 30 times, it should be handily enough for most racers to figure that one out 30 jumps in shocktober doesn't seem to work in the halloween event so just get them all here drive in a circle in this point uh, you'll get disqualified after a couple of minutes but yeah this is where i'm gonna do all 30 of mine just because yeah you only need to do this shocktober event one time and apparently the halloween event isn't counting those 30 jumps in the slightest so yeah, rather than redoing this one over and over again and actually looking for loads of jumps. Pop in here, spin around, spin around and explode. Yeah, this is great. Not only did they mess up when the events were, but also they forgot the fact that like, yeah, they only count now in half of the things. So, well done, game loft, you rock. Uh, uh. And there we go, disqualified, but it shouldn't matter about the disqualification because, yeah, uh, it is just a case of get the jumps complete. So, way there's my tier 27 complete. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video or, and, yeah, found it useful, there's a sub button up there. It can cover everything asphalt related. There's a lot of videos for me here and here. But yeah, guys, as always, good luck in this one and drive safe. And yeah, hopefully have fun in that Shocktober uh, jumping event when that one becomes available.